First step in the battle between development and preservation in downtown Omaha today. The organization that wants to tear down buildings in order to create more parking for the Holland Center will soon own three of them. KMTV Action 3 News reporter Nick Starling is live at 11th and Douglas to tell us more about this controversial move and the gift from the Stothard administration. Nick. Craig, Jen, yeah, we're out here at 11th and Douglas where the OPA now owns these historic buildings. Now I want to draw your attention to this makeshift memorial just put out here. It says RIP born 19 or 1884 rather died 2015. There's a stuffed animal, uh, a balloon and a candle. Obviously people are mourning the loss of these buildings already. It's been a four month battle coming to a close as a $10 million deal sends these buildings to OPA's hands. I think it's a it's a it's a very positive move move forward at what we've been working on for some time. Today, Omaha Mayor Gene Stothert says this deal was based on architecture firm HDR moving into this parking lot, which OPA owns 80% of. Those property owners were willing sellers. Um, we respected that they were private property owners. We wanted to work with them, give them a fair selling price. They were willing to sell, and uh, we reached that agreement this week. Stothard says OPA wanted the city to use eminent domain to demolish the buildings, something Stothard was against. Stothard says while it is up to the OPA to decide on the fate of these buildings, she hopes the historic spec building stays intact. We do respect our heritage, we respect our history, and the city's not taking the position of saying we're going to come in, take you by eminent domain, and tear you down. Greg Nash lives in the Happy Hollow Coffee Building and is fearful he will lose his home. I would be forced to relocate, wouldn't I be? I would have no choice, so I would have to relocate. He's lived here for a year and a half and says these buildings mean something to the city. The city owes it to itself and its citizens to protect the historic buildings that make up the DNA and the history of Omaha. Nick Starling reporting. It's a complicated story with lots of tentacles. Here are a couple of other factors. In order for the OPA to tear down the buildings, that's the Performing Arts Organization, they would have to get rid of the historic status of the SPECT building, and they will have to jump through a few hoops in going through the Planning Commission and the Omaha City Council. The money for the acquisition comes from the city's redevelopment fund. Now, today, we